I've publicly made clear that this does not uh, involve uh, looking at President Obama or, uh, or Vice President Biden. What names we would be familiar with? Some of them. Uh, but, uh, you know, here's the thing. For the first time in American history, police organizations and the uh, national security organizations were used to spy on a campaign. And there was no basis for it. I'm very troubled by, by, by what has been called to my attention so far, but I'm not going to uh, characterize it beyond that. Attorney General William Barr addressing federal prosecutor John Durham's investigation into possible federal surveillance abuses during the Russia probe. And here to talk about it, Fox News contributor Trey Gowdy. He's a former House Oversight Committee chairman and host of the Trey Gowdy podcast, which I highly recommend to everybody. Um, what did you take away from what Barr was saying? I know he's very careful not to disrupt an investigation, but to give the public a little bit of a insight as to, into what he's seen so far in the investigation. Dana, Bill Barr is a pretty mild-mannered person, so when he says that he is uh, disturbed and frustrated, I, I think what he's saying is we give law enforcement and our intelligence community these awesome powers that no one else has, the power to, to indict and arrest and surveil and, and read emails. And all he's asking in return is that you be a good steward and that there be a factual predicate when you investigate, whether it's a potential president or your neighbor next door. So. Those who care about our justice system uh, should echo what he said. When you give powers to someone, it is not illegitimate to say, were you a good steward of those powers? In terms of the famous names, I mean, you know, but, but keep in mind, Peter Strzok, uh, that I think is now a household name, has his fingerprints on every aspect of this, from, from initiating it in the summer of 2016 to the Hillary Clinton uh, investigation to, 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 to Mueller, to interviewing Michael Flynn. So, so Peter mm -hmm. Strzok um, uh, would be a name that I would listen for as Durham begins to wind up his work. And I also wanted to ask you about this, Trey. Um, we have an update on the Michael Flynn case. And it's something that you'll know very well. So you may remember that last month, the Justice Department moved to drop criminal charges against the president's former national security advisor. Well, that has to be approved by a judge. Uh, but what happened is a retired federal judge was brought in to review the DOJ decision. And that judge now saying that the feds were out of bounds in trying to dismiss the case, calling it a, quote, gross abuse of power. What do you think about all of that, Trey? That's just coming in in the last hour. The same thing I've always thought, Dana. If judges want to be part of the executive branch, they should resign their jobs. I mean, judges have a role in our system. It is not to prosecute cases. It doesn't matter how much they want to. Their job is to be impartial and sentence if there's a matter before them or to rule on it. So, so for a judge to say, I'm not going to grant the government's motion to dismiss an indictment, Who's going to prosecute it, Judge? I mean, are you going to take off your black robe and give up your, your afternoons at the golf course and go become a prosecutor? Uh, everyone has their own lane. Prosecutors don't sentence. And, Dana, I told you that when prosecutors were saying what Roger Stone's sentence ought to be, I said, that's not our job. Our job is not to sentence people. By the same token, it's not a judge's job to prosecute or decide who should be prosecuted. All right, Trey Gowdy, always appreciate having you. We thank you for being here.